Mesothelioma is a rare but aggressive cancer primarily caused by exposure to asbestos. In this video, we will explore what mesothelioma is, its symptoms, risk factors, diagnosis, treatment options, and the importance of awareness and preventive measures. Mesothelioma affects the mesothelium, a protective membrane that lines various body cavities, including the chest and abdomen. The most common type is pleural mesothelioma, which affects the lining of the lungs. There are also peritoneal mesothelioma, affecting the abdominal cavity, and pericardial mesothelioma, which impacts the heart lining. Although mesothelioma is not highly prevalent, it is particularly concerning because it often remains undiagnosed until later stages, making treatment more complicated. The primary cause of mesothelioma is asbestos exposure. Asbestos is a naturally occurring mineral that was widely used in construction, insulation, and various industries for its heat resistant properties. When asbestos fibers are inhaled or ingested, they can become lodged in the mesothelium, leading to inflammation and eventually the development of cancer. It can take 20 to 50 years after exposure for mesothelioma to develop, making it challenging to establish a direct link between exposure and diagnosis. Symptoms of mesothelioma can vary depending on the type and stage of the disease but typically include persistent cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, and unintended weight loss. In the case of peritoneal mesothelioma, symptoms may include abdominal pain, swelling, and digestive issues like nausea or constipation. Due to the non-specific nature of these symptoms, mesothelioma often goes misdiagnosed, leading to delays in treatment. Risk factors for mesothelioma primarily focus on asbestos exposure. Individuals who worked in industries such as construction, shipbuilding, automotive manufacturing, or those living in proximity to asbestos mines are at greater risk. Family members of workers exposed to asbestos may also face risk due to secondary exposure through contaminated clothing. Moreover, certain genetic factors may contribute to an individual's susceptibility to developing the disease. If mesothelioma is suspected, a healthcare provider will typically begin with a thorough medical history and physical examination. Imaging tests, such as X-rays, CT scans, or MRIs, can help identify abnormalities in the chest or abdomen. Ultimately, a definitive diagnosis is made through a biopsy, wherein a sample of the tumor is examined under a microscope to confirm the presence of cancer cells. Treatment for mesothelioma can be challenging due to its late diagnosis, but several options are available. The most common treatment modalities include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. Surgical options may include pleurectomy or extrapleural pneumonectomy, which involves the removal of affected lung and surrounding tissue. Chemotherapy involves the use of drugs to kill cancer cells, and it may be administered before surgery to shrink tumors or after to eliminate remaining cancer cells. Radiation therapy may also be used to target specific areas affected by cancer. Recently, the field of immunotherapy has gained attention as a potential treatment for mesothelioma. This approach seeks to harness the body's immune system to fight cancer more effectively. Clinical trials are ongoing to evaluate new drugs and therapies aimed at improving the prognosis for patients with this disease. Awareness and education about mesothelioma are crucial for prevention. Individuals should be informed about the dangers of asbestos exposure and take precautions in high-risk occupations. Regulations have significantly reduced asbestos use, but older buildings and materials may still pose risks. Safe removal and handling of asbestos are essential in managing these dangers. In conclusion, mesothelioma is a serious and often tragic disease largely caused by asbestos exposure. By knowing the symptoms and risk factors, individuals can take action to reduce their exposure and seek timely medical help if they suspect they may be affected. Increased awareness and advocacy for better safety regulations surrounding asbestos use are critical in preventing mesothelioma and protecting public health. If you found this information helpful, please like, subscribe, and share this video to spread awareness. Together, we can work towards a future with less risk of this devastating illness.